Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another Warzone video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what I believe to be the number one weapon in Warzone. And that, that might actually sound a little bit weird to hear because right now the meta is in an incredible spot. There's so many different weapons that you can be using, but most of them have a trade-off. Either incredible time to kill with pretty hard to control recoil, or very easy to control recoil with pretty abysmal time to kill. Well, this gun is the exception. It's got incredible time to kill very easy to control recoil and it's going to be taking over the meta very very soon if you guys enjoy this style of video make sure to drop a like on it subscribe if you want to see more but before we get started i want to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is gigabyte now you guys may have noticed i recently upgraded from 1080p gaming to 1440p gaming and in many areas across warzone i'm still getting 200 fps plus that is only made possible by the power of the rtx 30 series graphics cards and Gigabyte is empowering me to make that happen by sending out this Aorus GeForce RTX 3080 Master Graphics Card, and it is a complete beast. So what is the hardware inside of this GPU that's allowing me to crank out all this in-game performance? Well, for starters, it has an increased core clock of 1,845 megahertz. The reference card is only at 1,710 megahertz. Then we have 8,704 CUDA cores, a memory size of 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X clocked in at 19,000 megahertz. On top of all of that, we have the max covered cooling system, which we've talked about in the past, which is Oris's proprietary cooling system that allows us to crank out all that power without any thermal throttling. But the advantages don't stop there. You can take the incredible power of the Aorus graphics card and pair it up with the NVIDIA Reflex low latency technology in Warzone. Go into the settings like I do here, click Enabled Plus Boost, and reap the benefits of better tracking, more accurate flick shots, and most importantly, spot your enemies quicker due to the low latency rendering of the NVIDIA Reflex technology. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get the edge up on your opponents, check out Aorus's graphics cards in the pinned comment and the description and i want to thank them again for sponsoring today's video okay so what weapon do i believe to be the number one weapon right now in warzone now this may actually surprise you because typically when i pick a number one weapon it's something like the ram you know it's got incredible time to kill and i say it's got easy to control recoil but for the average player it it's definitely not gentlemen ladies i promise you this is the one i i'd be surprised if it doesn't get nerfed eventually it is the krig six it's got insane time to kill, and you guys already know it's a laser. And I'm going to show you the numbers in case you don't believe it, but it outcompetes many of the guns that you're currently using. So, if you weren't already aware, the Krieg got a buff. Its minimum damage was increased from 25 to 26. Now, what does this mean? Minimum damage is the minimum amount of damage that that gun can do. So, if you're shooting at someone super far away, it used to be it could only do 25 damage, but now it can do 26. At an absolute minimum, it'll do 26. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but keep in mind, everything else was nerfed around it. The C-58, the Farah, everything else was nerfed, but the Krig actually got a little bit of a buff. And with that comes an impressive buff to its overall time to kill. Now, the screen's about to go bright. Watch your eyes. So here we are. The Krig is down here at the very bottom. Once again, shout out J-God for putting in. I don't even want to know how many hours. These are all up to date for the new Season 4 Reloaded. The Krieg has a time to kill of uh, 736 at long range. Now, there are some guns in here that beat that time to kill, such as the Ram, but it's got very difficult recoil. The Groza, very difficult recoil. The FFAR, but it's not viable at range. If you were to go through and look at every single one of these, nothing is comparable in terms of the recoil and the time to kill. It even beats the C-58, which is 764. It doesn't quite beat the FF or the FARA or the FARA, the FARA, uh, but the FARA has that weird S curve that's really tough to control. The Krig is killing it. Now, there are some LMGs, and we've talked about how the LMG meta is growing, but keep in mind the LMGs have an open bolt delay. So when you try to, try to press shoot, you have about a 50 millisecond delay. So add 50 milliseconds onto all of these, and the Krig has a better movement speed. Guys, this gun is nuts. It's beating out your favorite guns like the C58 at full plates, at every single range. It's crushing guns like the Growl. I get it, the Growl's low recoil, the M13 is low recoil. Do not be using those when you've got something like the Krieg at your disposal, and you are falling behind your peers. It's about to go bright again, watch your eyes. If you're not using the Krieg, 
you're falling behind it is becoming one of the most popular weapons in the history of all warzone metas the krig is the way to go now if you're wondering how i kit out my krig you're gonna see in the gameplay in the background i'm running around i'm absolutely slaying these lobbies and falling in love with this gun all the while this is how i kit out my krig i've got an agency suppressor a 19.7 ranger you can rock the mil spec but frankly i prefer more bullet velocity and I don't need the vertical recoil control or rather the horizontal recoil control because this gun's a laser anyways. You can rock it. Um, I rock the Royal Cross 4X because that really allows me with this 4X to just rip people off of headies because the, the recoil is non-existent. Field engine grip just to make it even more of a laser and the Stenag 60 round. If you're playing solos, I would rock a 45 round. Um, and if you're really feeling ambitious, really feel like you can handle the recoil, get rid of the field agent grip and throw on a rear grip and this thing will really be snappy. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you, I know you're thinking about it. If you're, if you're doubting it and you haven't tried it recently, you think this is the bot gun. You think this is a gun for people who can't control recoil. The numbers back it up. 736 millisecond time to kill is very impressive. It's towards the top. Only a few guns beat it. And frankly, the recoil is too hard to control or the mobility is not there. This is my new favorite gun inside of Warzone. Give it a try. Check out the rest of the game. Today's gameplay. If you're not sold, you're going to be sold by the end. And uh, drop a like on today's video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Follow me over on Twitch if you want to catch this gameplay live. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok if you want to see little bit, bits and bite-sized pieces of the Warzone Academy. Or just get to know me a little bit more personally. And uh, shout out again to Gigabyte for sponsoring today's video. You can check them out down in the pinned comment. Appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of today's video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Uh, GG's homie. The fact that that guy was beaming me from that far away while be hopping. Got some pretty decent Request shots on him. Recon flyover. UAV entering the AO. Stoner. Okay, that's why I was hitting so hard. Bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Mm, my aim wasn't perfect. I was shooting in between his legs and shooting um, under his jumps. So I mean, I was. Request recon flyover. I was definitely missing on some opportunities there. My aim wasn't perfect by any means. I just glided over to me. No, gliding above. Dang, we hit those. Go yourself. I gotta stop jumping when I shoot, man. At close range fights or long range fights, I don't even know. I'm like jumping over. Um, like there, I jumped up and it almost pulled my pulled my shot over the character's hitbox. Sometimes it'll get me nice little uh, you know, B hop lateral movement, but most of the time it's it's, it's been pulling me. I just need to like start crouch, you know, like crouch spamming rather than jump spamming. Lobby is. Here's one. Better drill. Get the free kill and then get out of there. I don't think you can break these anymore. Yeah, you can't. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. See, like that, I would literally never lose that on controller. Like that, it's like. Oh, I got this fight one, and I turned my brain off for a fraction of a second. You can practice your aim and that's how quick the time to kill is in this game. Even though I get first shots off, I'm, I'm off target for a hair of a second, and it costs me. You lose, you Sort them out or capture the objective.
Guys over here doing a contraband. I felt really good. I'll be honest, I felt really good. Oh, it's not the craziest shot or anything, but just bullet velocity, everything about that felt really nice. Request recon flyover. And he's ghosted. Okay, my operator needs to go on a diet. For that one game we had the other day where... We had a challenge to break our PR for three hundred dollars that pain sent through. That was that was some inspired gameplay, man. That was so much fun. It's one of the few times where I don't like the 4X. Like, right there, I don't want to use my SMG, but the 4X is a little bit too stepped in. Like, I had some good shots. Reach out, man. Fly cancel right under their aim. Also, another gunfight I wouldn't have been nearly as close to dying on. Be 
Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTV for resupply. Too many times. <laughs> Holy saves. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Fallen SPM blazing captain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Boom. Up here. Moving. I'm trying to kill the rest of the lobby and drop a 30. UAV entering the AO. You pretty nice. Got a few games already on 30 paces with the Krieg. I'm having a lot of fun with this gun. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTV for re This hill, unghosted, the house. The hill ghosted, the house unghosted. Shit, I'm pulling up right up to the house, aren't I? No, sir. I like the little recal out of you. Ambitious. Pre-firing with Milano. Oh, the gun. It, it, it sounds so like nothing, but it hits so hard. Out of there, he is. What a weirdo! Can't can't take that child out in the open. Um, I don't really know how to play this. I've never seen someone play inside of there before. Well, that's one way. Get that res for me. Yep, later. Only five left. 
You're weird for that, my guy. You are... Wait, I had an airstrike. It's just bugged. It's not showing. Three, six, nine on the train, ladies and gentlemen. One minute left remaining. Mm, I gotta maintain high ground. Uh, I gotta play for the win here. Remind me again, Chad, how I get up on that high ground? I glide to it, right? God. Holy sh I don't care. I don't care. GG's. See ya. Gone. That's the crit gameplay. Oh my god. Hey, and I got killed by a creek. So the creek slaps, ladies and gentlemen. I just walk up right there. Dang. That guy got gunned so bad. Holy cow. Oh, he was glinting at me in the car. I didn't see it. I was trying to get up there so I could, like, hit the jump and then glide and hold this. Because whoever holds this, I guess you don't win based off of this pull. But you'd have a pretty good, pretty good pull. And with an airstrike in my pocket, I could clear out to where I glide and land on that roof right there. And then if he gets roof control, he wins. He was riding there the whole time? I thought there was only one. Mm. Hey, but those streamers have wall hacks. It's okay. Well, 25 bomb. Creek shooting lasers. We got plenty of plenty of clips with it anyways. You can hear the bush right before you get back in the car. Ugh. Yeah, this is kind of a nice spot. This is kind of a nice spot. Oh, and it pulls. Stay right there. Stay right there. Do not move. Do not move. He comes to you. Yep. Perfect. Right there. Ooh, that's not perfect. I'll be honest. There is... Redemption. Redemption arc. Redemption arc. Run forward. Run forward and prone. Oh, no. Not a bad game. That was fun. That was fun. And for getting sent across the map, like after the gulag, I'm pretty happy with that.